Hello, welcome to Eaton Hydraulics here at IMTS 2008. My name is Bill Westman and I will introduce you to some of the solutions we feature here this year. In these solutions you will see Eaton electrical controls components, sensor product and hydraulic valves and actuators produce a motion control solution. In this case we use we have a simple cylinder reciprocation motion control with a directional solenoid control valve where we have the solenoid current switching function on the valve. Here we move on to our second level showing our solution 2 where we're moving from just a state, steady state speed to an acceleration and deceleration mode. With that way we get two speeds and we can move the load at a higher velocity and still decelerate and not have a shock on the machine. To accomplish this we use now a proportional control valve with onboard electronics and we use four sensors to trip, trigger the deceleration phase of this motion. You'll see the same type of power supply and microelectronic controller. Here we're moving on to our third level and we're moving on to the world of closed loop control. In this application we are having a motor drive and we're controlling the speed, closing the loop around the motor speed with a pulse counter that feeds the pulses back to the microcontroller and the loop is closed in the Eaton ELC, Eaton Logic Controller. The valve you see displayed here has feedback on the spool so we have excellent control of the spool motion that takes out any hysteresis or linearity issues you otherwise have to deal with. In our solution 4 we show closed loop not only on the speed and position but also on pressure. In this way as you can see the cylinder moves out under speed control until it reaches a certain position and then it switches to pressure control and you can see how we're controlling the pressure in the second bar down here. This would be useful in any application where you have the initial feed or transfer function and then at the end of the stroke it's critical to control the force that's exerted by the cylinder. Again we use our standard components here an Eaton electrohydraulic control valve on a cylinder with an integrated mounting face we have an LVDT transducer for the speed and position control and a pressure transducer in the cylinder port that allows us to close the loop around the force level in the cylinder. Now let me show you where the power unit is. The flow source providing the flow for the cylinder motion that you saw in the previous four takes. We show here a variable displacement piston pump that delivering oil into four stations. There's piped through a manifold and using AeroQuip hose we're connecting the power station centrally located to the four workstations you just saw. Well thank you for spending the time with us here. Sorry you couldn't see us in person but you can find more information at eaton.com slash hydraulics. Thank you.